Good day, everyone. This is your instructor, Sir Ars. We will continue discussing in the lesson 4, Data Management. Previously, we had discussed the basic statistical concepts, the measures of central tendency, and the measures of dispersion. Now, we will discuss measures of relative position, the lesson coverage for. There are three measures of relative position. These are the quartile, the decile, and the percentile. The quartile divides the data set into four equal divisions. The decile, on the other hand, divides the data set into ten equal divisions. And the percentile divides the data set into one hundred equal divisions. Consider this distribution. If we draw another distribution, which is considered to be a negatively skewed distribution and another distribution, which is a positively skewed distribution, if we are to locate the centermost value of these distributions, then we will obtain the same location. And that is called our median. This location or median divides the data set into two equal divisions. Now, if we divide the data set into four equal divisions, we will obtain the quartile. And that centermost value will be the second quartile. If we divide the distribution into 10 equal divisions, we will have the decile. And the centermost value in that distribution is the fifth decile. If we were going to divide the data set into 100 equal divisions, we will have the percentile and the centermost value in that distribution is our 50th percentile. Remember, for the formula in finding the location of the median, we will have location of the median is equal to n plus 1 over 2. 2 because it separates the distribution into two equal parts. Now, for the formulas in finding the position or the location of any quartile, location of Q sub i is equal to i times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4. We will have a denominator 4 because the quartile divides the data set into 4 equal divisions. Location for the D sub j is equal to j times n plus 1 all over 10. We will have a denominator 10 because it divides the data set into 10 equal divisions. And of course, the location for the P sub k is equal to k times n plus 1 all over 100. 100 because the percentile divides the distribution into 100 equal divisions. So those are the formula for the positions. Now, for you to obtain the value when location has decimal, then value, therefore, is equal to the lower value plus the decimal value in the position times the quantity higher value minus the lower value. 
Now, let's use these formulas in an example. Example. Consider the data set 4, 12, 7, 5, 1, 0, 3, 4, and 9. Find the first quartile, the fifth decile, the 78th percentile. First, we are going to solve for the location of the first quartile. Using the formula, location of the first quartile is equal to 1 times n plus 1 all over 4. There are 9 entries in the data set. Therefore, 9 plus 1 times 1 all over 4 will give you a result of 2.5. 2.5 is just the location, which signifies that it is between the second and the third location. Arranging the data set, the first location is 0. And the ninth location is 12. Second and third location is 1 and 3, respectively. Meaning, the first value will be the lower value. The second value will be the higher value. Using the formula, value is equal to lower value plus the decimal in the location times the quantity higher value minus lower value. Lower value is 1. The decimal in the location is 0.5. And higher value is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 0.5 times 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, the value of our first quartile is 2. Now let's solve for D5. Using the same formula, but now we will have the D5. Location of D5 is equal to 5 times n plus 1 all over 10. n is 9. Therefore, we will have 50 divided by 10. That is 5. 5 is the location of D5, meaning it is the fifth decile or the fifth location. There is no decimal. Therefore, obtain automatic the fifth location, which is 4. So D5 is therefore 4. Now let's solve for the percentile 78. Using the formula for the percentile, P78 is equal to 78 times n plus 1 all over 100. N is 9, and you will have 7.8. We will have to use the value formula because 7.8 has a decimal, and 7.8 is, is in between 7 and 8. And the 7 and 8 values are. 7 and 9, respectively. So using the value formula, the lower value is 7, the higher value is 9, and the decimal is 0 0.8. 7 minus 9 is 2, times 0 0.8 is 1.6, plus 7, you will have 8.6. Therefore, the value of the 78th percentile 
is 8.6. Very easy, right? Now let's do these activities. You will be given time to answer. The answers are the location for the quartile 3 is 24, location for decimal 4 is 12.8, the location for percentile 86 is 27.52, and the values are 23, 18, and 30.56 respectively. Did you get everything right? There you have it, the lesson coverage for measures of relative position. Next meeting, we will be discussing the probability and the normal distribution. See ya!